Blessings, blessings. I just wanted to come on and encourage you with a prophetic word. Thank you, Lord. Yes. And the word of the Lord that came to me. And I know that this is for some people that are going to hear this. And I do pray that it will be heard by the right people. You do have to pray into these words. You always have to take a prophetic word to prayer, amen, and get confirmation from the Holy Spirit. So the word of the Lord that came to me is that God is shifting your season. He is shifting your season, beloved. Now, the Bible tells us in Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and verse 1 that for everything there is a season and a time for every purpose or every activity under heaven okay there is a season and there is a time and what happens sometimes with us as human beings we do not always move in sync with the timetable of God. And sometimes we can either be running ahead or we can be lagging behind and our season is not in alignment. Our times and our seasons can be out of alignment with what the Spirit of God is saying and doing for that particular time in your life. So, just as you see in the Bible, there was a time to take Canaan land. There was a time to go up and possess the land. And God's people, uh, the majority of them, were not obedient to the word of the Lord. And they were not moving in accordance with the time and season. God was telling them, it's time. This is the season of victory. This is the season to possess the promised land. But they were not moving in accordance with that. So what I was seeing and hearing for you, beloved, is you can be stuck in a season, a former season that is not a productive season. You could be stuck in a season of mourning, a season of grief, a season of loss. You could even be stuck in a season of depression or a season of affliction. And that is no longer the season. So what I want to do right now is shift you prophetically. Thank you, Lord by speaking the shift of God that will bring you into alignment with the now of God, that will bring you into the blessing of God, that will bring you into a prosperous time so that you will not be stuck in a failed season. You will not be stuck in a, in a season of brokenheartedness. This is why you see sometimes people can't get over it and they're still in that stuck season, five years, 10 years, it can go on and on. In fact, your whole life can pass you by, but I am here to decree and declare over you, beloved, that you shall not be stuck in a former season, but that you are moving, moving in accordance with the Spirit of God who knows the times and seasons that have been appointed for you to fulfill your destiny. And I am here to shift you now in the name of Jesus into a season of prosperity in every area of your life, physically, mentally, emotionally, socially, financially, professionally, ministerially, relationally. Amen. You will not still be stuck at a place of loss. No, you are moving now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. God is saying, I am restoring the time that has been wasted. I am restoring the time that has been stolen. 
I am restoring and redeeming the time for you. You understand God can do that supernaturally for you so that you will not be lagging behind and suffer loss because you stayed in a season. But supernaturally, by the anointing, your lost years can be redeemed like that. Can someone say amen here right now? I just speak supernatural, supernatural by the power of the anointing, by the power of the Holy Spirit, a shift to you that will redeem the lost time, that will restore lost years even, lost seasons, that will bring you into the now of God, that will bring you into the success that belongs to you. Amen. It is time to go up and possess it right now. I shift you right now in the name of Jesus into the now season of God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Father, I give you praise for bringing alignment. I give you praise, God. I give you glory that you can do it by your spirit just like that. A suddenly, a sudden shift and that former season of loss, chaos, betrayal, whatever it is, financial breakdown, it's over now in Jesus' name. God bless you, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye for now.